The rain has come back out for a Sunday afternoon rubber match on Mother's Day and Senior Day as Penn State takes on Rutgers. Alongside Adam Sheets, I'm Matt Scalzo. Happy you could be with us today on Big Ten Plus. Adam, it's been an exciting series so far between these two teams. Back. Penn State. Maloney drives this one in the air deep towards right center field. Going back is Vossen. It's over his head and into the wall. Ciceri scores, Morris scores. Here comes Norris. We're tied at six. Matt Maloney delivers. And not done yet as the ball gets by Kaufman. Throw over to third. Maloney is safe. The Cardiac Cats are back once again. The 0-1 lined up the middle. Ciceri is in, right on his heels. Molinero, Penn State with the lead. Display for Penn State's been their offense, and they've found and they've picked and chose their moments, and this is one of them. Grant Norris, a double into the right center field gap. It'll go all the way to the wall. Motoring around third is Marr coming in to score. It's an RBI double by Grant Norris, and it's 5-3 Penn State. 2-2. And Corota Grauer continues his hot season. Lines it in the left. Natilli gets the wave around at third. Marsh's throw is cut off by Molinero. And Natilli dives in safely. Love sends it in the air. Right field corner. Ciceri long run going back. He cannot come up with it. It rolls into the wall. Love around second on his way to third. DeRocher scores. And Rutgers with a huge insurance run comes from Cameron Love. The nine hitter makes it 10 to 7. The 0 1, Norris goes deep to right this time. Other way. Back goes to Rocher. Looking up. It's out of here. Back to back jacks for the Nittany Lions on Norris's 14th blast of the season. And just like that, it's a one run game. The 0 2, Jakonski the other way. Penn State will walk it off for the second time this weekend. Check, please, Joe Jakonski, the hero, and Penn State comes back to win the game and the series. An inning-ending double play in the top of the second gives way to the Penn State bats looking for a little bit of momentum. Matt Scalzo alongside Tyler Millen. Happy you could be with us tonight on Big Ten Plus. Minnesota was looking to add on to its early 1-0 lead. Brady Council coming up with one out. Well, soft liner down the first base side. Jakonski with the diving grab and then the recognition to throw to third with Sam Hunt caught in hot water. Leads to an inning ending double play and Will Sem comes back on the mound looking for a cleaner inning of work, Tyler. Yeah, Sem struck out the, still struck out three guys in the bottom half of the first inning. Is it really just using his escape act to kind of get out of that inning and he's really yeah, got this Penn State hitters kind of off balance, especially early in the count. These mini line hitters have kind of settled in as the count has gotten deeper, but Sem has really used that off speed effectively because that low 90s fastball really gets on hitters quickly. You know, one Maloney fouls it off and it's 0 and 2. Matt Maloney, a 276 hitter, started the season really strong for Penn State when they were down in Cary, North Carolina due to the cold weather. Not, <laughs> I wouldn't want to play baseball up here as much as, nope. as beautiful it is in the spring. Those early games in February and March, not ideal conditions. No, thank you. But for Maloney, it's been a tough, tough stretch, at least in April and towards the end of March since Penn State has come back into the state of Pennsylvania. Maloney is three of his last 24 and went one for 10 over the weekend in East Lansing against Michigan State as he skies a 1-2 foul. Back after the, the series against UMass Lowell, which was a thrilling set with the Riverhawks in mid-March. He was all up to 341. Now he's down to 276 line. But if he can get back up to 300, that's will be a good mark. And that's roped through a first base, second base hole, third base hit. Exactly what Maloney would have liked to see in this cold stretch. Just find that gap on the right side of the infield. That's a leadoff base hit for Penn State. Yeah, a really good piece of hitting. Takes a pitch kind of up in the zone, still able to drive it through the right side of the infield, and that's got to be a pretty gratifying feeling if you're Matt Maloney. A little clap of the hands there as he gives his gloves to the first base coach, but 
and it'll set the stage for Dave and Kelly. But that's 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 got to feel good. A guy that, as you mentioned, won for 11 over the past weekend and ball in the dirt. Hunt able to keep it in front of him, and Maloney scampers back to first. But as you said, Tyler, that is a big time feeling for a player like Matt Maloney. Still young in his career, transferring over from Dayton. He's a junior. As the 1 0 is taken outside for a call and strike to Taven Kelly, who has been at Penn State for a long time. Not his first year with Penn State. Kelly, a senior plus for Penn State. The 1 1 popped up down the right field line. It will fade foul. And it's 1 and 2 for Kelly. Had a okay weekend, 3 for 10 at Michigan State, went 0 for 4 on Sunday. Was on a six game, six game hitting streak heading into that Sunday matchup with the Spartans. The one, two, swing and a miss. Sam with his fourth punch out. Cleared an inning in the third. Yeah, I mean, you, you look at Will Sem and the first thing that jumps off the page is his ability to strike guys out. That's now 60 strikeouts on the season. He's gonna give up hits, he's gonna walk some guys, but pitches like that is what makes him a highly touted Big Ten prospect. He was one of the he was 38th Big Ten prospect for the 2024 draft by D1Baseball.com. And a guy that's really effective. And now that he's healthy, now that he's able to pitch kind of consistently, he's able to try and bring that ERA mark down. He's, he's got the, ta the tangible skills of being a really, really quality starter in this conference. And now he's kind of showing that a little more consistently. 1-0, Hannon, a hard hit line drive is foul, and it's 1-1. One one. Hannon in this nine hole is kind of like a second leadoff guy for Penn State. Hannon, he's got that leadoff speed. He's one of the best base runners in Penn State history. Is fourth all-time in steals. Here's a 1-1 one one as a pop-up to left. Charging in is Berkland. He'll make the catch, and now there are two away after the leadoff base hit for Matt Maloney. Yeah, after what looked like it was going to be a quality hit for Penn State back-to-back, -back, not so strong at-bats for the Nittany Lions between Kelly's strikeout and Hanning just getting off balance, trying to go with that kind of uppercut swing that he's kind of worked with over the past two years, trying to get that high, you know, high swing velocity, trying to drive the ball to right field, but kind of just really got under that one and drove it the opposite way. Jakonski takes the first pitch strike up by the letters and it's or excuse me a first pitch ball rather my apologies and it's one to know a single for Jakonski in the first he wasted no time first pitch swing and Fitzgerald was had a beat on the line drive but as it got lower he lost it with the sun which is behind us here at Medler Field the shadows as you can see starting to creep out a bit more they've almost fully engulfed home plate Here's a 1-0, is a fair ball down the right field line and down towards the corner. Jakonski around first on his way to second. Maloney will hold at third. A two for two start for Joe Jakonski and a big spot for Penn State looking to answer in the bottom of the second. Yeah, gets a pitch on the inner half, pulls the hands in, kind of chops it just in front of home plate, but it's got enough velocity that squeezes by the first base bag and all the way down the right field line, almost to the corner. Really good jump but two outs by Matt Maloney. You thought he was going to try and extend it home. Got just over the, the third base bag, started to turn towards home, and he got the stop sign before trickling his way back over to third base. But now it's two men on and two out for Bobby Marsh. First pitch for Marsh is a called strike right at the bottom of the zone, and it's 0-1. Marsh 0 for 1, went down swinging in the first. A good pitch from Sem got him off bounce and chased a pitch in the dirt on that strikeout. Here's the 0-1, fouls a pitch off, and it's 0-2. Sem has wasted no time attacking hitters. Marsh, one of those as well, a long bout between those two. Multiple foul balls worked by Marsh in that first battle between these two. Marsh, a 432 hitter when it comes to runners in scoring position. He's got a pair here. The 0-2 from Sem, Marsh line drive to right, and a leaping grab is made by Brady Council over at second. What a play 
by the second baseman to end the inning and Penn State again leaves runners in scoring position and Minnesota holds on to its one to nothing lead as we move on to the top of the third here on Big Ten Plus.